Hello everyone, another random uh, product review and the, today's reason is phone mounts in the car and how they fail. I'm shooting this video on a Galaxy A7 because it actually has a better video quality than this Galaxy S10 Plus. Um, but this has a far more processing power than this A7 that we're using. So this is, the A7 is now sh just for my, my YouTube stuff and this is what I carry around with me and stuff. So. Um, I had a cheap phone case on this where it said it was magnetic, meaning it was just a blank case with a piece of that stick-on steel ring on the inside. So in my car, it just fell off all the time because the magnet was trying to get through the case and then did a metal metal thing. So my logic was thinking, get a case with the metal on the outside, which is this little guy. Unfortunately, this ring is so small, it's just not capable of supporting the weight of this S10 Plus. This S10 Plus is quite a heavy phone much heavier than the a7 which i never really had too much of a problem with in the car but now with this guy this is this is really heavy this whole pink metal thing is machined in the middle i saw them when they saw it when they replaced the battery on this thing this thing's pretty kind of old all right so i saw some stuff and i'm instead of all these lame magnetic things I'm going to try a physical mount and reviews say the quad lock system seems to work pretty well even for like off-roading but at the same time maybe not we'll have to see I bought these locally of course that's why you can see this language you don't recognize probably let's start with the case itself this this was really expensive by the way but uh, I'm sick of having driving around and having my phone fall while I'm trying to use Google Maps to get somewhere so you gotta go it go with what you can Lightest, strongest, and most secure. Designed in Australia. It's actually patented, made by Annex Products. This is from 2020 because the phone is old. There are multiple mounts here motorcycle, bicycle, the driving one, and running, and some sort of lifestyle adapter. Okay, there's a skew. And yeah, so I'm sure whatever phone you have, they probably have a case for it. Warranty. I don't think a lot of them have to make a claim on a warranty. Alright, so it's a uh, black, probably, well, I'm not sure what kind of plastic it is. It's obviously flexible. Hmm, I don't know. But on the inside, there's some engraved lettering here as part of the mold. Designed and produced, no, designed by Annex Products, Melbourne, Australia. And then you can see there's a foam, a very thin foam layer here. Uh, it says 070201, so that's probably the year date of manufacture. Or I don't know what else. What else could it be? That's the Annex logo. It's got a nice molded in like flat matte finish. It's not glossy except for in that logo. And then the uh, obviously access ports and all that stuff. So luckily, it does fit. Even with this kind of goofy uh, cover for this really silly curved screen. I got this phone for free. I would never buy this phone. The curved screen idea was horrible, Samsung. What were you guys thinking uh, for a phone? Anyways, okay, so naturally that works for protecting it. All right. All right, uh, let's look at the box of this guy. The windscreen dash car mount. Other stuff again, it's, uh, same old stuff here. Windshield or dashboard mountable, strong rigid polycarbonate body. Maybe that's what this is, polycarbonate? Not sure, it didn't say on the box to my... Uh, let's see what it's made out of here. Yeah. All right, adjustable gimbal, no residue gel suction cup, which I do question. Doesn't lose suction, will adhere to more uneven surfaces, compatible with all quad walk stuff. All right. So, stuff down there. Okay. Oh Warranty again. Nice simple instructions. You gotta peel off some sort of protective strip and then you have an optional pad that you can put onto your dash. Okay and you twist the suction cup here all right and you mount your phone and you can clean that that little pad off wash it let it dry and 
clean the windscreen with alcohol. Alright, straight forward. Alright, so this will definitely stick. 3M v VHB is extremely strong. This is the kind of tape that holds emblems onto car hoods. Assuming the car hood was clean before the tape was applied, so that's not a concern. Alright, so you can see here there is that protective film. Let's do that last. So this is the actuator for the suction. Let's see. Yep, it's definitely moving a lot. An impressive amount. Alright. It's some sort of hologram. Oh, Panda Rider. They, uh, they're a local motorcycle store here. So they must have opened this and had that sticker. Alright, there's a hex key here. Hex bolt holding this thing. But I don't see a need to mess with it. But there is a lock nut here. Probably to allow this, this thing to move around. And that is the case. So that seems very well designed, actually. And let's see the angle of movement here. That far in this direction. Equal amount there. Side to side. I don't know. It might be like... 15 degrees, if I had to guess. In any direction. So that's good. And then obviously you tighten that back down. This tri-lobe nut's pretty good. And it's very strong. That thing is not going to move. Oh, wait. I did move it, but I didn't tighten it very hard either. I, I'm quite sure that's not going to move if you tighten that down enough. Because there's enough friction between this uh, matte finish plastic and then whatever's in there as well. So that seems pretty good. So right now I have it like a 45 degrees, these little teeth. Let's just assume. I guess I'll take this off. Yeah, definitely very sticky. I don't I don't know if I trust it enough to stick to a windshield long term. Oh, maybe. This is pretty impressively sticky, but more importantly is this suction. There it snapped at 90. So Okay, let's pretend that's on the dashboard. There, you just twist it. 45 degrees, I guess. Yeah, it's a 45 degree lock, it seems. Okay. So then, yeah, there's no way it could really fall out unless it actually twists 45 degrees and then it falls out. I almost think it would have been better to have three lobes, so you'd have even more. But obviously the more lobes they have, the less you have to twist it. But if I was like really using this off-road, I'd be afraid of it twisting 45 degrees and then falling off. But if it was like two lobes, like a, the back of a computer on a bicycle, they only have two lobes. So you literally have to twist it 90 degrees for it to lock in place. And uh, it's interesting, you can actually continue rotating it past past those points. It doesn't it doesn't like dead out. There's no like wall here stopping the twist. So that that's interesting because it means it can spin either way, which is good and bad. It's good to take it off, but it's also bad that it might twist the other way and fall out as well. Hmm, so it is questionable. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, here's my uh, current setup here. If you see a phone mount like this, it's okay again for light phones, except the suction cup. Eh, you know, it st <laughs> it'll stick on the car for like a week or two, but the heat eventually evaporates some the moisture in there and it just fell off all the time. And so I thought it'd help by having it rest on the actual dashboard. And, uh, but the problem is it still fell off all the time. So then I moved to these little uh, sticky hooks that you can buy for like, I don't know, hanging random things in your house. And that has worked. I have a zip tie though holding it in place because my phone would uh, actually can't lever this off of the hook mechanism. The zip tie is actually keeping these two pieces together. 
but the magnets themselves is four magnets inside of this pad and it's just not strong enough to hold my, my current phone so this has that's why we have this video in the first place so I just cleaned off this area up here with uh, some alcohol swabs <clears throat> And now let's try this, uh, let's just put this quad lock up here. Twist 90 degrees. It definitely feels strong right now. Whether or not that stays up there with my phone though is a whole different story. So this might, I'm gonna just drive around with this thing, you know, and maybe we'll, we'll have to see if, uh, so that angle may be not the best either. Or for me at least, I gotta loosen this. Maybe just change this straight up and down. Tighten that a pretty good amount. And then hold this at 45. Yep. So I mounted it in the wrong spot. My phone is colliding with the A pillar. I like in uh, you know, landscape mode because I'm us using uh, Google Maps. So now let's see how easy it is to remove. There's that little tab on the suction cup. Yeah, that seemed all right. I just move it over here. Okay. Well guys, it's actually been three months and I ended up putting it on the side window here. Bear in mind, if you do put it on the side window, you gotta make sure your cable is long enough to deal with the door opening. So, Otherwise, you're gonna rip your cable off. So yeah, this little Sienta has a tiny window here, and that has been there since December. It is now like late February, so maybe it's been longer than that. Anyways, it's great. Works fine. I highly approve. Thanks for watching today. See you guys.